The hikers said it moved through here. They all spooked, and so they were leaving right away. Oh, well, that's too bad. Yeah. You know as well as I do that they have nothing to fear in the park from bears if they've properly stored their food in locking bear boxes. Right. But you know what I don't get? It's their description. Mm. I mean, black bears don't get that big. What they described was more like a Volkswagen size than a bear. Yeah. Only Alaskan brown bears get that big, and there have been no grizzlies like that in the States since 1929. Long time ago. Oh, man, it was a prank, man. Remember the guy with the Bigfoot outfit? Raleigh Round almost shot him? Man. Or maybe old Sasquatch is back for another round of scaring the tourists, huh? Whatever happens, if you see him, don't get all trigger happy. Okay, Remy? That outfit was amazing. It was. I think he actually used uh, bearskin from that freak show that closed back in Chicago. Confiscated that, so unless Did he's you? made another one. Yeah. Nice. I don't think it's the same guy. Huh. Hey, wait right there, park rangers! Whatever it is, it's quick. Man, we're gonna be at this all night long. I think it's the same old boy with a new costume. I say we come back tomorrow, we'll track him to the site, we'll confiscate the, the suit, man, and we'll just give him a citation. Sounds good to me. Come on, it's at least two miles back to the patrol car. Yeah. Uh, let's go. Okay. Hey, hold it right there! Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, are you lost? Are you all right? The man! It's the man! You guys have to run now! You have to follow me! Where are we going? Follow me! Follow me! Oh no, not again! Oh. <laughs> At Pink Princess, we want the public to know that the employee who tampered with the Princess Pack talking software has been terminated. We continue to warn the public, packs manufactured last month must be returned for exchange. Some of the statements made will be very inappropriate. Pink Princess has been America's little sweetheart for 30 years, and we want you to know we will still be your pretty pink princess. And we're back. So Hilga now knows how to properly maintain the leather of her lederhosen. Yeah. Which you can find in my unabridged guide to the outdoors. Remember, unabridged guide outdoors. UGO. Yeah. You go out there. <laughs> Thank you, Hilga. Dussel, Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf yeah. Thank you, yeah. Hilga, so much. You go out there. Yeah. You go out there, Hilga. You go. <laughs> no, Hilga, you go out there. Yeah. Hilga, go out there. Go. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Thank yeah. you, Hilga. Yeah. Thank you. You go out there. Have a wonderful evening. Yes, thank you, Hilga. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Awesome. All right. Let's go to our first call because our lines are loaded right now. Big Outdoor Survival, you go out there, Stanford James. How can I help you? Yeah, I'm going to the park to do some backcountry hiking, and I hear bears can be pesky. What should I do if I run into one? That's a great question. That's a great question. You know what? I'm going to consult my book, The Unabridged Guide to the Outdoors. Very good book. One time was once a almost bestseller. Let me look it up. We're going to look up survival, and then maybe let's go to death. No, we don't want death. We don't want to die on this one. All right, let's do B for bears. That would be the best part. Why do you always have to look at your book? Wait, 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 wait. Didn't you write it? Uh, yes, I did write it, Caller. I did. You know what, Caller? I'm going to have to just leave you, all right? You're going to... Bye. You go out there. All right. Let's go to our next Caller. All right. Big Outdoor Survival, Stanford James, how can I help you? We. I, I mean, yes. I wonder the same thing. Uh, every time someone calls, you always have to check your book. What, are you stupid? <laughs> no, you are a funny. No, I, ex ex excuse me? Excuse me. Hello? Yeah. No, you know what? I wrote the book. I wrote the book. 
I'm the one that wrote the book, okay? All right, good. All right, fine. You know what? Folks, you go out there and figure it out yourself because unfortunately you don't like anything I'm saying and you call to remind me about this. So you know what? Forget it. You all just go out there. Here we go again. Doesn't that moron know anything about the outdoors? You know his ratings? They drop every week. I mean, if we lose our last client, pretty pink princess, I am pulling the plug. And then you have to put your nose, you have to hold the cup the nose, put your mouth to the mouth of the bear. You're gonna come down, you're gonna go. <laughs> PUTV control room, big outdoor survival. Yes. What? What? No, wait! No, please, you can't. No, please, wait! Hello? Hello? Pretty pink princess just dumped Stanford. Well, I'm gonna put John Claude and his team on right now. <clears throat> John Claude Chavot? Uh, yes. How soon can you get down here to PU Studios with your team? Yeah, with all your props and your sign. Yes. Oh, I mean, we! Your combo cooking exercise show is gonna be on the air in 10 minutes. That is, if you can drive your Peugeots fast enough. You can do it? Oh, fantastic! Fantastic! Au revoir, Monsieur Chauveau! <laughs> oh, man, we're saved. What do you tell Stanford? Nothing. Let's see if he has any real survival skills. <laughs> <laughs> And that is how you chase down and capture a wild thimbleberry without popping it and staining your high quality parka. And now on to how to clean the mud out of your amazing rubber sold leather boots. You use a hairy snipe tail feather. Excuse me. This. Hey, guys, I'm filming a show. Can you, can you please wait? Normally they do this like during the production break so that the people can... Uh, Hello, babies! I am Jean-Claude... <laughs> Chavon! And welcome to Go Crazy! We will cook you superior food and keep you thin that enough to eat means. a lot of this food. Better. Welcome to the new French cooking and exercise show, Go Crazy! Dancing, boys! Bon appétit, oh bon appétit. We'll cook your food and you will think it's sweet, so sweet. We'll feed your face and then we'll exercise your feet. When we are through, we know that you'll say bon appétit. Bon appétit, bon appétit. We'll cook your tasty sparrow, such a crunchy treat. We'll feed your face and then we'll exercise your feet. When we are through, we know that you'll say bon appétit. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. We'll cook you yummy snails and some mystery meat. We'll feed your face and then we'll exercise your feet. When we are through, we know that you'll say bon appétit. We'll cook your food and then we'll exercise your feet. We'll cook your food and then we'll exercise your feet. We'll cook your food and then we'll exercise your feet. And you know that when we're through, that you'll say bon appetit. <laughs> Welcome to Escargo Crazy! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it is now high time that you are kicked off of the set. After all, you are a phony! Au revoir, mon ami. Wait, you're the guy that was on the phone! Suck air. <laughs> <laughs> Dislike you a lot! <laughs> Ralph, Chris, what is going on here? I mean, where did these escargo crazy idiots come from? They're interrupting my show. 
I mean, I've been on semi-public television for almost 10 years. Listen, Stanford, you've been faking it for 10 years. Everybody knows you don't know a thing about the outdoors. As a matter of fact, you don't even know which end of the match mm. starts the fire. Oh, and another thing, your last clients, guess what? Pretty Pink Princess called and canceled. Well, I'm canceling you too. Sorry, Stanford, you're finished at PU Studios. Don't talk to us again unless you actually know what is going on about the outdoors and survival. They wrote the book. I did the research. This Chavot guy, he has been prank calling my show since the beginning and sabotaging it. This is not my fault. Look, research is one thing, but knowing it by memory is another thing altogether. Clear out, will ya? I have a French cooking exercise show to produce. Hit the road, mon ami! <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> Hi, Winnie. Stanford. Stanford. Your brother? Yeah. Hi. Hey, is uh, Sammy there by any chance? Hey, Sammy. Hi, buddy. How are you? Good. Hey, I want to ask you a question. You want to go camping with me? Uh, well, for a couple of days. I got some time off from the show, and I really wanted to go out and learn some good survival techniques to wow them back here in the big city. I thought maybe you'd want to go. Well, I don't know, I want to go someplace beautiful, someplace magnificent. Ask your mom if you can come for a couple days. It's okay? Oh, good, great, great, all right. Okay, bring your video camera, okay? And I'll pick you up tomorrow morning and uh, bring whatever else you think we may need. All right? Remember, Sammy, you go out there. OK, bye, Sammy. Talk to you later, tomorrow morning. Bye. Outdoorsman of the year. Who's outdoorsman of the year now? Not me! You don't have him, do you, anymore? No! Oh! No! 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 Oh, <laughs> 
Buddy. So where are we going, Michael Stanford? Reclaim my dignity. Oh, dear. oh, Frank! Do you see what you did by not putting coolant in the car like I asked? But, but I, 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 I brought the, um, oh. I did the... Uh, Look, what are we going to do? We're in the middle of nowhere! Oh, so stand for watch out! <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, dear. Honey, I think we have to move the car off the... Oh, you say we're going to be hurt! Why did you tell me there's going to be traffic here? No, but I did, I, I, I'm... Okay, wait a sec. Frank! Get out of the way! I can, I can. I'll move the car. But, but, they, they, oh dear, oh dear. Sammy, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm documentary filmmaker Thad Marr. We are here at the behest of the Department of the Exterior to document a diverse group of tourists who are visiting the park for the reprising of the historic and famous Firefall. It was discontinued in the park in 1969 due to changes in Department of Exterior policy, stopping supposedly unnatural events. The park management has been made aware that the people who saw this amazing event originally performed for over a hundred years are getting old and dying. To honor the support of the park, the famous firefall, a dropping of flaming embers of Iceberg Point, will be done one more time for all who want to come see this Friday night. Our film crew has been randomly pulling vehicles out of line and will assign five film crews to them. Our cameras will follow these groups for the next few days up until the firefall. Each group will also be given their own video camera so they can record their own films and images for everyone to see from their own eyes. And we will also enlist award-winning photographer David Ashcraft to prowl the park and get magnificent still shots of our selected guests. Hi, David. Hi, Thad. Yeah, I'm gonna get some great shots out here. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be so much fun. Oh, wait, photo up. <laughs> great. Okay, here's our first group. Okay. We are the Bird family from Wisconsin. I'm Faye, and my husband Frank is um, an insurance adjuster. <laughs> uh, I de I, we decided to travel out here to see what is called the most amazing park in the world. <laughs> this is my husband Frank and our wonderful daughter Tori. 
and our son Jason, who we just called Jaybird. <sighs> sure is pretty here. Beautiful, and we. Quiet! Wow, you chose us. That is so spiffy. Uh, my name's Hugo Armstrong. This is my wife, Dora. And we are ready to challenge this place. I mean, it could be dangerous here. Boulders could fall on you. The rapids are world famous. And I hear there are wolverines and mountain lions and big dangerous bears. You know, Dora and I have been in some amazing places, huh, Dora? You might recognize me. Uh, you know, I was Mr. Buff Pump Up three years running. You know, Mr. Buff Pump Up? World welterweight bodybuilding champion. Had a song and everything. Well, that was before my injury. What Frank is trying to say is that we're going to enjoy camping here at the park. I just wait. <laughs> Hi, I'm Stanford James. I'm from San Francisco. You've probably seen me on TV. I am, I've been, an outdoor TV show host. I'm here in the park to film my back outdoor skills with the help of my nephew, Sammy Stewart, my sister's son from Bakersfield. His father ran away with the secretary. I think they're in Tahiti. They've been gone for years. Anyways, you've probably heard of my best-selling book, survival and camping book, called The Unabridged Guide to the Outdoors. U-G-O, it's in my TV show. It's my motto, you probably know it. You go out there. U G O, you go out there. No, you've heard it. I'm Robert McDonald, but you can call me Brick. And this great bomb it, laddie. My climbing partner, Angus Gordon. <laughs> We're the free climbing champions for the Helens of Scotland. Ah. <laughs> we'll be taking a boatload of pictures for you. Be the camera you're landing this. The kids are going to enjoy biking and hiking and taking pictures <laughs> and climbing and relaxing. <gasps> we heard that they are going to redo the firefall one more time for the last time. And that's really neat too. <laughs> and we've never seen that except for in pictures from the 1960s. Ooh, yeah, That'll be sick. Fireflying from a 7,000 feet cliff. Flames shooting all over the place. Possible death, possible destruction. Awesome! Reminds me of my video game, Attack of the Galactic Archini Woman Vampire Zoid. <laughs> oh, Jaybird. You little character. <laughs> Sorry about Frank. He's not a big talker. Tori, dear, do you have anything to say? Tori. As you can see, I we have brought all the fun things you could think of for camping. <laughs> right, Frank? Frank. Yes, dear. If you saw me on my cable show, Big Outdoor Survival, I want to let you know something. I can track. Okay, let's get something straight. Those escargot crazy Frenchies, they're rude. All right? Who puts exercise and cooking in a show together anyways? Oh, I don't understand. Relax. But I can still do it all, can I, Dor? I used to put on it at his place, huh, didn't I, Dor? <laughs> I can't wait to get down in that glacially carved valley. Almost as carved as I used to be, huh, Dor? <laughs> and that firefall being redone, that could be amazing. I might have to use my speed and agility to dodge all those falling embers and flames. So, the best advice I could possibly give you is always have two handcuffs. Okay. There could be multiple suspects around, you never know. Right. And, uh, Oh, we have to do this too? You're rolling? Oh, okay. I'm Head Ranger Jeff Fauntleroy, Sugar Duke Tight Third. You can call me Raleigh. To my left here is Ranger Spud Washington. We're law enforcement rangers with the Department of the Exterior. I graduated first in my class from Quantico. I've been here at the park for 12 years. And we are completely dedicated to maximum excellence and the protection of this wonderful environmental treasure from the polluting hand of irresponsible human beings. But I think most of the people are here just to see the beauty of the park, Raldi. You know, soldier, you're absolutely right. Yeah. Except for the fact you're not. We'll be planning our mark here, Aye. and all the mountains, and we're going to break all the climbing speed records. <laughs> we are using ropes. 
ในรูปใสในรูปใสในรูปใสในรูปใสในรูปในรูปไอ้บริสกอลันบริสกอลันบริสกอลันไอ้ตัวจะสวมกันเลยจ้าหนูโอ้ฉันอยากดูสัตว์ทะเลฉันอยากดูสัตว์ทะเลที่สวยงามแต่ความจริงคือสัตว์ทะเลที่ทะเลที่สวยงามและจนกระทั่งอีกอยู่ในพื้นที่ใกล้ๆและก็ฉันไม่ใช่ทหารสปัดวัชิงตันแต่คุณเรียกฉันสปัดฉันเป็นพนักงานที่ที่นี่มาแล้วฉันทำงานที่นี่มาแล้วฉันทำงานที่นี่มาแล้วฉันทำงานที่นี่มาแล้วฉันทำงานที่นี่มาแล้วฉันทำงานที่นี่มาแล้วฉันทำงานที่นี่มาแล้วฉันทำงานที่นี่มาแล้วฉันทำงานที่นี่มาแล้วฉันทำงานที่นี่มาแล้วฉันทำงานที่นี่มาแล้วฉันทำงานที่นี่มาแล้วฉันทำงานที่นี่มาแล้วฉันทำงานที่นี่มาแล้วฉันทำงานที่นี่มาแล้วฉันทำงานที่นี่มาแล้วฉันทำงานที่นี่ I used to really fire up all those bodybuilding fans, didn't I, Dora? Oh, honey, I don't think you're... <laughs> Falling gonna... flames, rapids, huge boulders, big rocks to climb, big dangerous animals, <laughs> big things! Big things. This is my kind of place. My kind of place. See, I'm going to teach Sammy in the way of nature out here. He's not a true native child of the forest like I am. Isn't that right, Sammy? No one is. Because I am. <laughs> it just, it just startled me. I mean, it was right there. You guys can cut that, right? You, you can edit around that. That really scared me. I could do it again. I could do it again. I, I love nature. I do. Let me. Okay, let's do another take. The two new female rangers behind us are Ranger Zoe Crochenibler and Ranger Cecilia Studebaker. What? Oh, bro. but I really am excited to be working here at the park. Yeah, the car. Oh, yeah, the car. Come on. Come on. Yeah, the car. Let's go. 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 Oh, hi, Bina. Hi, Bina. I'm taking you to custody for violation of property ordinance. Come on, I don't know. Oh. Polluting toxic waste. Oh, bro, bro. Hi, junkie TV. Junkie TV. For all that, he's just trying to clean the bugs off the windshield. Oh. His spray is ripe for elevating, and the resulting projectile motion thrusts it over the rental windscreen. That should be the appropriate target. Hoa, hoa. And on the vital habitat of spotted marsh and pumpkin bug, it's breeding season for little creature. Hey, dude. What you filming? You filming a movie? Wow, dude. Hey, I think you should know I was a pretty big singing star back in the days of peace and love. <laughs> I'm Sid. Sid Saperstein? You know, Indian love song. Yeah. Well, until the man closed down my gig, it was the man. The man! Well, He's not gonna get me now. I've been here for, I, I don't know. But anyway, he closed down my gig, dude. That just ain't right. I, uh, get us, buddy. Get us. That's a ghost. The man. I'm after him, Roldy. But we have a TV, a camera. Where in the world could he disappear to? It was right on his tail as we went up that draw. There aren't any easy holds on the face of that cliff. Oh, God. Oh, oh. What are all these stinky little paper bags on the, on the base of the rock? Those? Those are bomb bags. When climbers have been on the wall for two or three days, they need to defecate. They do them in bomb bags. They shot bomb bag and toss it down. That's why you don't want to be anywhere near that cliff face. So these are all... Poop? And they throw them down, hopefully in an area where you know it's standing. Climbers, they're usually a thoughtful group, but sometimes they aim for anyone near to the rock. Notice how far away I'm standing. <laughs> Look out for the whole laddie! Oh, Ah. Grab! Mm-hmm. Crap. Let's go get you changed. I, I, are you going to use all of this in your movie? Oh, 
not just some. Oh, you may cut what I see. Oh, is this my good side? <laughs> Hey, I love my RV. I think Arnold has one just like it. <laughs> but uh, you know, it's got all the storage for all these things that uh, that are important, like the weights and the bench and the, the bikes and the raft and everything to, to just do big things here. You know, when I was Mr. Buff Pump Up, I did a photo shoot for Pump Me Up magazine in a woods just about like this. I was back east and there weren't quite as many big trees as there are here and not near as much danger. <laughs> But uh, I really worked that camera with my immaculate flexing. <laughs> big things. I'm going to be able to do big things here. Tomorrow, I'm going to ride up to Reflection Lake. They say that climb is 1,000 feet in less than a mile. Piece of cake. And Odor, remind me to shoot those rapids sometime before I leave. OK, dear. Big things. This is going to be great. Things sure are easier here than at home. <laughs> <laughs> the birds, like us, are everywhere. <laughs> I saw this um, cute little boy deer and his little girlfriends in the meadow on the way in. <laughs> what they were doing? <laughs> well, I had to grab little Jaybird's head and turn it. <laughs> I'm glad Tori wasn't watching because <laughs> she's so innocent. <laughs> Uh, I think I'll pump. in the out of doors due to perkier taste buds uh, from the, the, the fresh air cleaning out your, your sinuses and nasal openings. I, I think I smell better here than at home. I think my, my sniftier is niftier. <laughs> I, I made it funny. <laughs> Dogs will be simply scrumptious for dinner, don't you? I am so excited to stay at the Awachuchi Hotel. This was built in the early days of the park. This is so cool. This is an exquisite architectural masterpiece. Oh, and when talking about outdoor survival, it is vitally important for someone to save their energy for said survival. Because when you go out there, you better be well rested. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I can't wait to study all the edible parts of the hotel's walls, furniture, floors. No, we're not going to eat the hotel, Sammy. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You don't have to be... Think, man. All right, no. No, we're gonna do it after dinner. Study all the edible plants and all the plants that have the chemical qualities that makes things like flares and uh, medical compresses. I mean, that's important stuff, Sammy. And my backpack is very, very well equipped. They're on the roof! They're on the roof! How'd they get up there? Get off the bloody roof! Come on, let's go! These hotel walls of steam were just too tempting. But we did it in the bellhops to throw a great muckle fit of kettle. And get the knickers in a twist. 
or us mucking a wee practice free climb. You can be sure we'll no be climbing any more holes made by the hands of man. At least nay on this threat. Nay holes, eh? Nay holes, eh? Just was, eh? Just was, eh? Aye, hey, just was! Just was! For Scotland! For Scotland! For Scotland! <laughs> Park Rangers. Fall in! Tin Hut! Washington, Crow Sniper, Studebaker, New Park recruits. You were chosen from the common masses as elite soldiers, warriors, and the ongoing battle to protect the park. The shock troops, the company of Valiant Souls, were on the front lines. Save the squirrel, protect the porcupine, defend the deer, and guard the grasses. We'll never rest, we never stop, never quit. We never, never compromise. And never, never surrender! Yes, sir! Yeah, we got everything for the fire, right? Yeah, we got all the wood, so it's gonna be a really big fire. I think the guests are really gonna like it. Hey, look at that ranger's name. <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Crotchet Blur! <laughs> hey, yo, hey. Oh, it's Crotch Nibbler! Crotch Nibbler, long ago! Long guy! Don't get stubborn, you get it right! Joey! Snap out! Gosh, I'm so sorry. Ooh, is somebody a little sensitive? Seriously? Let's get out of here. Yeah. That's real mature. Crotch nibbler. Crotch nibbler. I hope your mommy's proud. Joey, I'm no, it's not that big of a deal. Come on, honey. You're better than them. You're a pretty girl. Don't like my name. Oh, I know, but nobody likes their name. I mean, I named after a car. I love you. I love you too. So, let me guess, Ranger Washington. The girl set the fire? Looks that way. <laughs> you know, I will be glad when we can make wood artificially from washed up seaweed. That way, it can decompose naturally on the forest floor and become a home for our little insect friends. <laughs> hey, Raldi, what's that on your belt? That's not standard issue, is it? Oh, that, 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 that's nothing. Come on, if we're gonna be partners, you gotta, we gotta be able to trust each other, right? Well, it's, uh, it's just a broken compass. Hmm. My grandpa gave it to me just before he passed away. <laughs> he called it his, his compass of destiny. I swore I let him meet my grandmother. He said, one day do the same for me. But as you can see, there's no ring on my finger yet. That's really neat. You're lucky to have an heirloom from your grandfather. So, uh, what, is the needle just broken? Yeah, maybe I'll fix it someday. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't help overhearing about your compass. 
Don't ever give up hope, sir. You never know what joy the future may bring. Uh, 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 let's get the presentation. And it's Raleigh. Not sure. Okay. Let's go, let's play. Raleigh. Let's get our fun. I hear they talk about wild animals. I don't care. Now, Tori, dear. Come on, freak! Don't dawdle. Yes, dear. Hi, we're from Wisconsin. Hey, don't let's sit here front and center. I bet they're gonna talk about big dangerous things we can do here at the park. Okay, sweetie, look. I brought your big fluffy coat. Might be getting cold later this evening. Are you kidding me, Dora? I still have magnificent circulation. My body core heats up like a furnace. I just don't get cold. Remember that shoe we did up in Alaska for Pump Me Up magazine? Not all of me was shriveled. Hey, Sammy, I bet they started that campfire with the scrapium and magnesium powder and a cotton fluff tender application to the sparked embers. I bet you're right, Uncle yeah, Stanford. I know I am. Chapter six. Yeah. Whoa, yeah, chapter six, you're right. Chapter six in my book. Good job, buddy. Welcome to the park. My name is Gerald Fauntleroy, Circuit Duck Tight the Third. What? You guess the park, you can call me Raldi. Baldy? No. <gasps> Ballsy! No, Raldi's an R. I'm the head ranger for law enforcement and environmental protection here at the park. This is my new partner, Ranger Spud Washington. Hi, folks. Glad you came. It's so great to see so many smiling faces You're out there. You're sitting in the Camp Fury Amphitheater in the Central Metal area between the 8,800 foot height of Chrome Dome, the 2,400 foot park falls, and the 7,000 foot tall iceberg point. The park has over 3 million visitors each year. With 3,200 crimes committed and an average of 620 visitors incarcerated. What for... Ranger Sukaduktite is telling you is this is a beautiful place where loads of our friends come to visit and get back to the wonders of nature. Just smell that fresh pine scent in the air. <sighs> yeah. We have a pioneer history center and Native American houses called umachas. Oh, and the animals here, why, they're Mountain friend... lions, skunks, mosquitoes, poisonous snakes, sucking ticks, and even some very large, dangerous bears. Wow, Mom, Dad, bears! Large bears, Dor. Dangerous bears, yes! Oh, I know about bears. Chapter 164 in my book. Chapter 165, Uncle. Chapter 165. That's right, how to use sound and movement to hypnotize an angry bear. Chapter 165. You can buy it in my book, Unabridged Guide to the Outdoors, everybody. It's really good. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. In fact, we have kind of a ghost story, a mystery here at the park. Oh, dude. Here we go again. It's the man. It's the man. <laughs> I got you. Around nine years ago, one of our law enforcement rangers traveling Club 3 lights the sirens to a hideous crime on the valley floor. Yes. It was an illegal squirrel feeding. He was driving so fast, he accidentally hit a large bear cub. The bumper was a patrol vehicle. That ranger, just said, felt the bump, but thinking there was something wrong with his car motor, continued on for the place where the squirrel feeding crime was being committed. The bear was evidently struck hard. Bystanders say the bumper tore off. The whole side of the bear's face! Oh. <laughs> Those who have been in the clutches of the bear, few proud. Still bear his mark. But the bear, he did not die. He just grew into a huge 2,500 pound bear that lurks in the shadows of cliffs and rock falls the park. 
He is seen on rare occasions, but has never been only followed by wildlife or ranger personnel. Somehow, he just disappears every time he's tracked. Some of our law enforcement rangers and visitors over the last years have disappeared. Not a trace! So, some were hiking, some from their cars, and some... Some from their tents are peacefully sleeping. Some people think the cause of disappearance may just be the same huge rogue bear. A giant, frighteningly angry, disfigured mutant bear. And we crawl. Wazzy wazzy! Fuzzy wazzy! That was a story, folks, so don't be afraid. So, as for the rules and regulations, there's no using chainsaws or cut wood, no walking in the meadows, no biking in the meadows, no feeding the deer, birds, squirrels, foxes, weasels, no petting the skinks, skunks, snakes, and drakes. Wisties! Oh, it's a little fairy. Oh, you're a big fairy. Oh, you're a big fairy. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're a big, big fairy. Yeah. Oh, 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 hi, big fairy. Oh, you're getting close. Yeah, you like it. Oh, oh, I'm on fire! I'm on fire! I'm going to fire! Shillelagh! Hi, Shillelagh! Oh, yeah! Oh, whoa! You're really sold out of all your other packs. Sorry, sir. The Firefall crowd, we were rushed, and everything was sold. I'm surprised we have anything left at all. We sold the last little boy's happy furry chipmunk packs before he came in. And all we have left is the pretty pink princess. It's kind of interesting. It says things when anyone whistles. All right, um, okay, I'll take one. That's, that's fine, I'll take one of those. I can, I can make it work. I know it's pink, but I can, I can make it work. I'm Stanford James. I'll be fine, Uncle Stanford. I'll get dirty anyway as we're out there surviving. My pack can hold most of the things we need. Remember, chapter 13, pack light but complete. Yeah, chapter 13, right. All right, buddy, let's go. <laughs> Look at that pretty pink princess. Isn't it so cutesy wootsy? I'm pretty, I'm pink, I'm the pretty pink princess. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the loser that's wearing me. Let's just go back to the hotel and pack for a hike. Pack my best job. The batteries on this thing. Hey, check out those guys climb. Oh, they're in kilts. Wait a minute. And so we see that the glaciers suddenly carved the valley floor in a special U shape. Stones and boulders scored the valley floor that we see today. How long have the glaciers? They're interrupting the ranger. Oh, no, that's OK. I don't mind. So I was wondering, is this the first time the glaciers have moved through the valley? Actually, Mom! Aired. Tori! Do they know where they're going?
Are you okay, honey? Is everything all right? No. I'm not okay. I'm sick, Dad. I'm completely fed up. Oh, you're sick? I hate Mom! And I hate you, too, for letting her be the way she is. The way she is? I... I can't tell her how to behave. She walks all over you! Every day! You never stand up to her. The more you give in, the more she dominates you. You have to stand up to her, Dad. We always do what she wants. We go where she wants to go, we see what she wants to see, we even eat what she wants to eat. You're such a... milk toast. I don't like confrontation. My parents, your grandparents, they fought all the time when I was a child. And it hurt me really badly, and I never wanted you and your brother to have to see the same things that I had to see. I'm, I'm sorry. You are sorry. You'll always be sorry. I hate that you're sorry. Oh, maybe I was wrong about a lot of things. We're gonna go back and join everyone else now because we're still gonna try and get to the top of Chrome Dome after lunch. Okay, come on. Let's go. Whoa, dude. Are you making the movie too? Ah, what's it about? Oh, a documentary. Wow. Hey, do it on me, dude. I've been there, man. I've been there. You remember when Bob Dylan started a concert with an electric guitar? That was mine, dude. I never got that back, did I? But I was down in Hollywood at Capitola Records, and Elvis was gonna jump up and down on stage. I told the Colonel, dude, man, have him shake his hips, man. The chicks dig that. Yeah, and Jim Morrison, he was gonna name his band The Windows. I said, Jim, what are all the entrances in life? The important passageways. Doors, dude! Doors! And when I was in England, eating breakfast in Liverpool, I told the busboy, man, get that band put together. And later Paul told me he got George and John to play, and then, and then they finally got Richard to drum. That kid Starkey, man, he was a great drummer, a real star. I wonder if they ever made it. Huh. Oh, me? After managing, like, 34 bands, I got this gig playing the Indian love song here in the park during the firefall. Yeah, man, great gig, steady gig. Show every night for years. Then the man closed it down. The man closed down the gig, dude. It was the man. The man, you have to stand up to the man. seeing all the people experience the park, the nature, the geology, the history. It makes me so happy to help them. That's my favorite part of the job. It really makes me feel good to see the guests enjoy the amazing scenery and the beautiful waterfalls. Oh, it's the best. <laughs> so it's fun. I hear that you're originally from the area. Yeah, I uh, was raised in Fresno. I went to Clovis High School. I really liked science in school, but uh, I guess I just always really loved animals. Oh, I love animals too. Back home, we used to have horses and dogs and cats, and I even had a pet goat. His name was Brutus. Me too, his name was Billy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I had to kick him once though because he tried to butt me. 
He never tried that one again. <laughs> Sully goat. <laughs> Ranger Washington, Ranger Circuit Duke Tide. Meet me in Reflection Creek. I heard a Scottish flag flying off the cliff there. 10 4. I'll grab the apps. I really enjoyed our little chat. It's kind of scary how much we have in common. <laughs> but I like it. You're, you're very nice. I think you're really nice too, Cecilia. Well, Dor, ready to do big things? I hear that ride up to Reflection Lake is a world-class climb. And, and we're gonna be right under Chrome Dome. <laughs> Honey, did you remember to hydrate well like I reminded you this morning? You bet I did. My body is coiled and ready to spring up that canyon like the wind. I feel like a Bengal tiger. Say, did you pack any snack we can have at the top? Maybe some of that goop? I love that goop. <laughs> it's gorp, honey. And yes, I brought the kind that you love with the candy on the top. Oh, great. You know, back when I was Mr. Buff Pump Up, I did a photo shoot with Britta Hilgendorfer. She was Miss European Buff Pump Up. They put us on a bicycle built for two, and it was great. You should have seen the muscles on display that day. Of course, that was before I met Dor, and I didn't really like Britta that way. You know, she was she was nice and all, but she never shaved her pits, and she had a real low voice. Uh, I never could figure that out. I thought maybe it was because she was East German. Honey, let's get going so we can be back before lunch, huh? All right, let's go. <laughs> big things, Dora, big things. Make sure to breathe deeply to get extra oxygen in your muscles. Kador. How is it? You're slow, fatty. You can do it, honey. Breathe. You're almost there. Told you, Dora. Big, big things. Sure glad I, I stayed in shape. Keep those butt legs pumping. Keep on pumping, keep on pumping. Just made quite a climb. I, I did it, Dor. I, I didn't even stop once. I, I knew it. I knew it. I told you. B big things. Sir, are you all right? Oh, yes. He's always been a great athlete. Okay. Excuse me. Hugo, it's snack time. Excuse me? Ranger. Crotch nibbler? It's Crotch Nibbler! Crotch Nibbler! Long O! Long I! It's German. Okay. Well, this flag fell off that cliff and it hit my friend. Those guys again. Yes. I've been seeing a lot of these lately. Crotch Nibbler. He's a piper! 
And he's busting your Johnny Cobb! Yeah? Yeah? What's a Bonnie Piper? First guy, let's go! First guy, He runs away as fast as an Englishman. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Hey! You boys! Watch out up there! Learn to plant Learn your... to plant your flag better! Oh. Oh. Oh, oh my. There I am. They're wearing kilts. Mom, Dad, I want a kilt. Are we Scottish? Are we in a clan? Can I live in the bagpipes? That's cool. Here, take the flag, honey. Cool. <sighs> okay, on to Crumb Dome. Come on, kids. Now remember to use both your front and your rear brakes when you go down the mountain, honey. Take it slow. You so deserve it with that performance up the grade. I'm gonna bomb it. Try to keep up, Dora. Here no, we go. That's not a good idea. Hugo, Hugo, slow down. Free Clarence Scotch. That was my father's father's hat. It's gone. Sorry. It's gone. Gone with the wind. See ya. Uh, uh. How do you. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Zoe. Your abs. I mean, you're welcome. Spud, let's give me change. Again.
friend. Hello. Can I give you some help? Sure. Thank you. My goodness. So, I have a feeling our Scottish friends left these for us today. <laughs> yes, aren't they so sweet? Oh, yes. I have been picking them up all morning. Uh, me too. I think we could line our entire ranger station with them. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> <sighs> so, on the way over, I saw Raldi and Spud heading back to the office again. Not another uniform change. Yeah, a tourist on a bike ran Raldi off the bridge and he fell into the creek. <laughs> I know. I pulled him out, and when I held his hand, I felt something. Yeah, something wet. <laughs> oh, Joe, please tell me it wasn't from the bomb bag. <laughs> no, no, oh, so no, 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 no. I mean, I felt something. Oh, <laughs> <sighs> that's something. Yeah. Oh. He looked into my eyes, and oh, I know he felt it too. It was kind of cute. He got all shy and turned red. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, I got a confession. Okay. I kind of like Spud. Spud? Really? <laughs> oh, he's so friendly. Yeah. I mean, most guys just make fun of me for the way I talk or ignore me completely. Oh. But with Spud, he cares. I mean, at least about me as a person and not just a professional that he works with. Yeah. Like, to him, I count. Oh. And we have a lot in common, too. Oh, that is so great, Cecilia. Spud is such a nice guy. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> I just wish he felt something for me the way Raldi feels it for you. You really think Raldi feels something for me? You don't think I'm just imagining it? No, I mean, I seen the way he looks at you. My sheesh kebab, he did a double take at you at the fire last night. He double took? Yeah. Okay, that is good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, let's put these flags back to the station. Okay. okay. <sighs> we are such nerds. We are. But we're cute nerds. <laughs> Oh, you know what else? What? Raldi doesn't look half bad with his shirt off. Oh, no, you are so cool. Wait for it. Trout, as you can see, some plants are edible and are used for outdoor survival. Chapter 72 of my book. Chapter 82, Uncle. Remember? Oh, yeah. See, I'm still not sure that's a skunk cabbage. This is. It, it kind of looks like a bladder wart. No, it's not a bladder wart. It is a skunk cabbage. If it was a bladder wart, I would have diarrhea already, and I feel fine. Oh, okay, okay? I'll remember that. Right. It's important to know what you can eat, where you're going, and if you're in any danger in the area when you're hiking. Very important. Take that hiker, for instance, right there. He may be someone you want to watch out for. He's someone that may uh, be a threat if provoked. Kind of like some wild animals. Oh, what? Keep walking. Don't you pack Let me! Who keeps talking to me? I don't know. Oh, oh stupid bad! The birds are setting it off! I know the birds are setting it off. Hey, hot mama! Why, you? Oh. I like it! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Run! Ah! Run! Ah! <laughs> Come back here, you, you pervert! <laughs> Hey, hey guys, guys, uh, come here, come here, come here. I think, I think, I think he's gone. Okay, listen. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, oh, my stomach doesn't feel too good. Oh, oh, okay. I think I'm gonna go off the trail and dig a little cat hole. Oh, <laughs> chapter 34. Sometimes these intestinal things happen due to physical. Activity that has changed my body chemistry. Oh, I'm. Um, oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh my god! <laughs> 
Sanford. Oh, was was that a was that a rabbit screaming? It sounded like it was in trouble. No teepee. You remember chapter 156? No, no, not chapter 156. I'm not proud. I'm not proud. Nearly there. Nearly there. Sit down. Oh Lord. Kids, now make sure you drink your water. Yeah, drink a lot of water. It wouldn't do to be dehydrated. <laughs> you get lumpy bowels. <laughs> Gotta watch out for lumpy bowels. I want lumpy bowels. It can be fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's take a picture. A family photo. Let's get the camera freak. <sighs> And uh, it'll focus on its own, okay? Got it? All right, everybody, let's gather together. Okay. Frank, come on. Frank. All right, making memories here. Come on, everybody, let's get together. <laughs> All right. Wisconsin cheese. <laughs> cheese. For someone. Hey, look, there's squirrels up here. Big whoop, big fat rodent pest begging for junk on a stupid rock. Aw, he's so cute. Hey, little fella, here's a cheesy poo. Did you see that? See if you can get another one to do it. Okay. Hey, little fella, here's a cheesy poo. <laughs> Oh. 
We're being boned by flying squirrels? Squirrels, uh, nay! Uh, bring it, you wee robins! Hey! She's jumping at my man, mate! Ha Hey! Shut up your face! Shut up See? Told ya. I am Shaka! Thank God for squirrels. I love wildlife. So that is what I call free climbing! I wish I was a squirrel. That's 16. I think that's all of them. That was really fun. Yeah. You know, you're not so bad for a little brother. A little hyper, but not so bad. Squee! <laughs> I wonder if it would work on people. <laughs> Wow, Dor, actually gonna do it. Finally gonna challenge the Whitewater Rapids of the world famous Park River. Make sure you get out before the big rapids. You only have three miles before you have to get out. Big things, B-I-G, big, Dor. Well, see you downstream, I'm getting in. Picture. Oh, Dor, this is a much better spot here. Think all this paddling's gonna pump up my pecs? <laughs> this is gonna be epic! P-U-F-F-P-U-M-P, Mr. Buff Pump Up is my name. M-U-S-C-L-E-S, are big and strong and bring me pain. P-U-F-F-P-U-M-P, Mr. Buff Pump Up is my name. M-U-S-C-L-E-S are big and strong and bring me fame. And that is how you make waterproof flares out of fire berries. I mean, it's perfect. And you can use lichen berries to make tie-dye t-shirts. And you can find it all in my unabridged guide to the outdoors. U-G-O. You go out there! Run, 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 run! Oh, oh, Sammy, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, are you okay? Don't say no, 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 no! Okay. All right. It's okay. We're gonna have to cure you. We need to find a place to go. All right. We gotta find a place to get in. Okay. Sir, it looks like it's gonna rain. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, put your hand up here. All right, come on, get up. It's time to go, everyone. Let's go now. Kids, come on, get up. Frank. Get up, get up, Frank. quick. Wait, we worked so hard to get up here. We're not leaving now. It's going to be a full moon tonight, and, and what an adventure to walk down in the moonlight. Look, there's lightning Frank. on the horizon. Come on, kids, get up, let's go. I said we're not going. What part of that did you not understand, Frank? That's it, I've had enough of you. Do you want our kids to die? Don't you raise your voice at me! I'll do more than that! Frank! Come on, Frank. kids! Put me down! All right, Dad! No! Uh, I wanted to dodge the lightning bolts. Put me down! No! Angus, lad! We're at the last pitch, but the last and two is climb! If we did not finish, I'd be understanding. We're on world at record time. Even counting for the squirrels. I'm for finishing. 
Come rain or lightning or hell itself, Harry! Aye! Nothing's stopping us now! Our name is Mike Gordon! And your name is Donald! Ha <laughs> ha Enough we go! Up we go! Ha ha ha! Hugo! Sweetie, it's time to get out! Hugo, it's starting to rain! Uh-oh. <laughs> You're getting close to the rapids, Hugo! Hugo! Without you. It's okay, Sam. I'll get you up there. I guess what I'm trying to say is right in Washington is you have something special, a gift. Something I haven't seen in a long time. Yeah, I really appreciate that. You know, I really think it comes down to the great training that you provided me. And I agree. Well said. I agree. Well, as you know, I graduated first in my class from Quantico. And I know a thing or two about a thing or two. I'm gonna tell you a story about me. Oh, actually, there's two guys. All right, all right, all right, all right. Ranger Shukadu plane. A cougar jumped us on the trail. Stanford James and Sammy Stewart were chased up to the top of Park Falls. I don't know if they made it or fell off. I heard one of them yell in pain. They need help. Don't worry, we'll handle it. Go, get out of the rain. Go. Ranger Crow Driver. Ranger Shukadu tight here. We have a Code 49 at the top of Park Falls. We're code 3. We're dropping our duty weapons and putting on our rescue gear. Have EMS ready. 10-4. I wish us luck, Zoe. Be safe, Roldy. Let's do this, partner. Let's do it. I tried so hard to be understanding and to listen to you, but you just got worse and worse. Well, that's all over. You got it? You got it? Okay. All right, kids, let's go now.
can see you're awake, Sammy. You've been asleep for almost two hours. How bad is my leg? Well, it's a bad sprain. There's no broken bones. Uh, but you're not going to be walking without crutches for at least a week. How are we getting off this mountain, though? Well, I figure the camera crew's already down there, so they know we're up here. And on the way in, I saw some fireberries above the cave on the hill. That means I can go up there and make some flares with those. Remember chapter 227? Yeah. I gotta tell you something, Sammy. I lost my show. I am... Um, unemployed. I didn't come up here to take my research to heart or do any wildlife or... I'm not an outdoorsman. You're more of an outdoorsman than I am. Well, I know. I read in your book, Uncle. You are a great outdoorsman. You really are. I want to be. I'm going to be. So I've been reading my book. I'm gonna learn it, front to back. I'm gonna know it all. I love you, Sammy. You're like a son to me. There's no one else I'd rather do this with but you. I love you too, Uncle. Sammy, when I get my show back, and I am gonna get my show back, I want you to do it with me. I want you to be there with me, because who knows my book better than you? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go up there and get those flares made. I'm gonna get them up here. We're gonna get out of this, okay? Okay. Don't worry. One more thing I want you to remember. Go out there. Okay. All right, I'll see ya. Stanford Jim? Are you all right? Where? Stanford James. Probable sprain. I, I think he'll be back in a minute. Raldi, look around this cave. This is where the missing rangers are taken. Oh, look at that bed. Do you think it belongs to the ghost? Uh, it seems a ghost. It was. You have an arrangement. Raldi! See that face before? Chapter 161. Woo! 
You used the ropes to hang on after you went over the edge. Chapter 161. Uncle, you are so smart. Now, how do you know about the rope? You're never near the edge. That's true. But I knew that there were bomb bags at the base of the small ironwood tree. I knew that the roots would go out all along and stringy because of the unnatural fertilizer at the bottom of this. So in effect, we were all saved by bomb bags. That's pretty cool. Do you see that? Yeah. So awesome. Yeah. When I'm missing you, the moonlit sky will find me falling in your arms. Your face is all that I see. The fire inside my heart reaches deep and changes. Me and I love you until the last fire falls. This is for you. You dropped it when you were knocked off the bridge near Chromdom yesterday. You found my compass? Thank you, Joe. It means a lot to me. You... you repaired it? It works! It's so beautiful. <gasps> Yes. Yes, it is. Wow. Sammy, we should come up here every year. This is... 
This is magical. Wow. Look at it now. Our guest will be famous record producer, Sid Safferstein, who's been living in the park for nearly 30 years with a killer bear. Remember, folks, the big outdoors is waiting for you. You go out there. Awesome, buddy. You did great. You did awesome. <laughs> oh, what a great day. This is a new sound. I'm telling you, wait till you hear the sound. There's nothing like it. There's never been anything like it. Saperstein Records. Yes, one moment, please. It's the president again. Hey, this is Sid. Hello, Mr. President. No, you know what? That donation was totally my pleasure. For sure. Uh-huh. I'd be happy to get Carrie Undergood to sing at your party. You want Justin Bebo too? Bud Washington, take this woman to see a Studebaker to be your lawfully wedded wife. I most certainly do. And do you, to see a Studebaker, take this man, Spud Washington, to be your lawfully wedded husband? I certainly. One second. I certainly do. <gasps>
and I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Mr. Sukaduke Tight, I can't tell you how glad I am to finally be rid of my awful name. Now I have yours. Ladies and gentlemen, let me be the first to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Suck-a-duck tit. Let's do it. I'm pretty, I'm pink, I'm the pretty pink. Oh, 